people you know i listened i listened to that uh before and i didn't realize that the hook was don't be so mayo don't be so mayo that's our old uh old joke about the uh, what was it skate three skate, skate three had the don't be so mayo achievement oh that's right i vaguely remember that yeah they had one of the sponsored achievements and it was a miracle whip achievement and it was don't be so mayo ironically the achievement was very mayo you know i, I have people my to this day in my personal comments telling me not to be so mayo <laughs> And those, I still haven't figured out what the fuck it means. Oh, oh, that, there was that commercial, right, that they did for, um, what is that main brand of um, mayonnaise? Miracle Whip? Miracle Whip, where they were like, the Twitter, what was that joke? It was like, was it a fake commercial? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Nope. Shit, I will find it. There's oh. a video. Just because it was on a commercial doesn't mean it makes sense either. <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense, but that was the joke, like, um, like SNL did the don't beat the mayo or whatever, like, no, like Twitter. It was just some, like, next generation of mayonnaise trying to, like, capitalize on... Do you know what I'm talking about? Like social network. I, I, I will find know, this for you guys. I'm so about. sad to report that if you look up Don't Be So Mayo on Google, we are the first and the third link no. associated with it. Yeah. The first link is Jeff and Jack gives you give you a few tips on how to pull off the Miracle Whip in Skate 3. And then there's videos about that on Facebook. And then the, the third link is Rooster Teeth about Don't Be So Mayo. So we have now cornered the market. We have now taken over the "Don't Be So Mayo" search on Google. So, uh, whose voice is still hurting from the RTX weekend? I think we're all heard? sounding like this. Today. My voice is totally Mayo from that <laughs> silky smooth. Yeah, the no. I we had our first annual RTX event here first in ever. Off- first, what I first, first ever. ever. Oh, because you don't like first, first annual. First annual is not a thing. Yeah. Yes, it is. If we're gonna have one next year, then now it's first annual. No, we, if we have one next year, this would have been our first. You know, it's always our first ever. But are we going to have it annually? Yes. Next year will be second annual. Same thing. What does that mean? Then? I think you... So, so it can't be annual if it's first. Because it didn't exist before. But if you plan on doing it every year and you commit to that, doesn't it? Once the, Starting yeah. with the second one, it can be annual. Because it's something that happens every year. See, I think... It that, hasn't happened every maybe, year. Maybe does, a little bit too little. Does it count that we're already planning RTX year two now? Right. We just had a meeting planning next year's event. Planning the second annual RTX. <laughs> Let me up. ask you a question. <laughs> Were you one of those guys, too, who said that 2000 wasn't the beginning of the new century? Yeah. Yes. Were, you, were you really one yeah, of those but people? I wasn't a big deal to me. I didn't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. It sounds like you give a fuck about the other thing. Let's, <laughs> let's about talk about it now. Was 2000 the beginning of the new century? I don't think so. What was it? It was. It's, it's like when you count from 1 to 100, it's 100. It's the last number in the old series. 101 is the first one. No. Yeah, but the second you move no. into the new century, it's the new century. So right after midnight, it's the new century. All right. Because you're in decimals at that point, and it still counts. That I'm not as passionate about. So if you make a million dollars, are you a millionaire? Or <laughs> Only you if you have a million, million and one, <laughs> then, then you're, you're a millionaire. millionaire. <laughs> this could cause a lot of problems and a lot of things, probably. Hey, speaking of millionaires, not to get away from RTX, I'm sure we'll be talking a lot about it on the podcast. Uh, since you, Joel, since you're on the podcast today, this is Bernie Burns, by the way. I should introduce myself. Yeah, Bernie, Gus. I'm going to introduce Gus. That's Gus. Jo- Joel's over there. I'm, I'm Griffin. Yeah. Still. So I keep reading everywhere dire economic predictions. Dire. So, Joel, <clears throat> very quickly, what should a person do in these horrible dark times with their money? Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> I also read like, that Switzerland is now there. I'm just now. saying, gold, gold, yesterday, this week, gold traded all time high to the euro. And I believe the Swiss dollar is at an all time high. I'm not I, sure if it's all time. I asked high. the question and I'm bored immediately. How does bored that happen? Immediately. Um, so you so get, when you, you know, say it's you know, at an all time high against the euro, is that a reflection of a positive for gold or a negative for the euro or both? Uh, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Mm-hmm. Uh, euro is going to go down. Usually, the, the the pattern has been gold trades all time high to euro, then it trades an all time high to dollar. Well, That's gr- been the pattern. Lately. Greece just un- was it the same day Greece unveiled the new bail or the EU unveiled the new bailout plan? It's for like Greece? watching an animal die slowly, <laughs> and it's just like just put it out of its misery. What Greece like, or the EU? Greece oh. and then the EU. But um, yeah, it's just it's just just die. Just die. it's just like rolling. No, no. Now we're going to restructure. Now we're going to do this. No, it's not. It's not going to work. I don't know. The Chinese did step up and buy 
Greece bonds, though, which is very surprising. Which hmm. is like um, you can buy wow. bonds in a country. I guess it makes sense. Like the yes. Greece, like the U.S. Treasury bonds. Yeah, they're but trading at a twenty at twenty percent return on your money. On plus, these Greece is selling like a lot of public land, aren't they? And like uh, government buildings and things like that, trying to raise <clears throat> money. That's what that's what I hear. I, it's not I, so. I, now I is a great this. time to get into Greece. You can it's buy. Great you, you can buy Greece. Can you buy Crete? Isn't the Crete part of Greece? <laughs> I think that's part of Greece. I want it. So where the hell is Belarus? Where the, is Belarus? That Bel- Belarus. Belarus. I don't know where Belarus. It's is. um. Way Eastern Europe, like right up against the former Soviet Union, I believe. So they did an, an interesting thing where they took their own currency and they devalued it by 56% overnight. So essentially what they did is they took their own debt and cut it in half by just saying, oh, our money's worth less. So Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> we're just like, oh, we can't pay you back with these dollars. We'll just make more dollars. We'll just make the dollars worth less. What is the, what is the, uh, the national debt up to now? $13 trillion? If you if you it's about thirteen trillion unless you include Social Security and Medicare. If you include Social God. Security and Medicare, then you're about sixty trillion. About fifty seven be- trillion dollars. Belarus is so on the that, w- that shows you the difference between, you know, Social Security and Medicare and Bel- Belarus is on the western edge of Russia, north of the Ukraine, south of Lithuania. You say western edge of Russia, I don't even know what Russia is anymore. Like Yeah, it's always a foggy thing. It's just right? east of Poland. It's just like it's just east of Poland. Yeah, between Poland and Russia. <laughs> so it's like the bad neighborhood from yeah, Poland. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite end of the tracks. Like Poland's the nice neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you really took a wrong turn in Germany to end up in Belarus, right? Is that basically the way it works? It was, so U.S. Was, national was, debt clock. I'm going to tell you exactly what the national debt is right now. Four, yeah. Fourteen trillion three hundred sixty-four billion four hundred sixty-two million. Sixty-seven thousand two hundred two dollars. And by the time you finish cents. the sentence, you're already like tens of thousands of dollars wrong. Is it true? Yes. Let's see how much it went off. How oh, much, that was scary. How much per person I is that? Does, right. does, it, does it show it, you how it much depend, per person? It depends. It's, it depends for uh, like tax paying. They have broke down tax paying citizens like fifty. 000, it's somewhere between fifty thousand dollars a citizen and one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a citizen. Why is it between? Like. Can, they, you can't just depends, divide 14 trillion like by 300 re- million? For some reason, whenever they li- when they bring that statistic out, I don't know why they do it this way, but it's like people who pay taxes. If you pay taxes, then you owe this people, amount. There are people, people who don't, don't pay taxes? taxes. I don't know why it's... Oh, yeah. Bad. There's lots of people who don't pay taxes. I mean, they, but they're not in prison. Like, Inter- Interplay the, is one of them, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Interplay, doesn't, you don't have to pay taxes if you don't have money. Did I you, guess that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. If you lose money somehow... Uh, they, they said the average debt here is uh, forty six thousand dollars per yeah, person in the U.S. So, so guys, come on, step up. Time to time to chip in. Pay your money. <laughs> pay your debt. Pay the debt off. But interplay, uh, Gus and I, what Gus and I were just talking about was the. Okay, let's see if we can explain this in a way that makes sense. Okay, so there's the franchise fallout, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, right? Uh, no, you don't know fallout. Fallout Three, you played Fallout oh, Three. Oh, Fallout. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I thought it was like something deeper than no. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fallout. You know, the, the Fallout franchise, right? So, Gus, let me see if I understand this correctly. So, Fallout was created by Interplay, right? And I believe they created Fallout One and Two. One and Two, and then Fallout Three. See, I, I, Bethesda, right? Yes, exactly. That, that's where it goes. So, okay. Bethesda has the rights to make the Fallout game now. Somehow, and I'm not sure how. Interplay kept the rights to be able to make a Fallout MMO, even though Bethesda can make well, the single player game. They were in financial trouble a few years ago, to, so to raise money, they sold the Fallout brand, except for Fallout MMO properties. Because they wanted to hold on to that. Right. Okay. So, so fast forward five years or six years <laughs> after their financial problems, and now Interplay, who's been developing this Fallout MMO, which would probably make a lot of money. They now have three thousand dollars in cash. That's their cash balance oh, God. on the books. And they have uh, what was it, two point eight million dollars in debt? Yeah, which breaks down to about forty six dollars per citizen. I think is what it breaks down to. <laughs> per, per employee. <laughs> Let's buy him. Is it worth it, Joel? What is that in bottle caps? What is that? <laughs> sure. What is that? <laughs> Luckily, See, why do you got? Why you got to hate? Why are you going to equate bottle caps? They've got this schematic for the Mer Five launcher, so uh, they'll be okay. That's right. I can tell you how much it is in seeds. Um, <laughs> I'm only making it worse for myself, aren't I? No, there was, but I'm trying to look this up here because uh, I had it earlier. Uh, they they had it broken down because they had to release a financial statement. I wouldn't think that Interplay was a public company, are they? Oh, I don't know. Are they? Uh, it was an SEC report filed that where this came out. That must mean they're so public. Be, yeah, 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 it must be mean they're public. 
And, and they said three thousand dollars cash, and they're two point eight million dollars in debt. Yeah, yeah. Ouch. That number includes roughly two hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars in promised compensation that has not paid to the company's board of directors. Well, that's refreshing that the board of directors wasn't paid. Uh, four hundred ten thousand dollars in unpaid federal taxes and penalties since two thousand and eight, and eighty thousand dollars in unpaid California state taxes. So they have they have not paid about half a million dollars of taxes that they should have paid. So, in answer to your question of who doesn't pay taxes, interplay. interplay does not pay taxes. And they have $3,000 in cash. Gus and I worked it out that their employees individually are probably more solvent than the company. Like, each individual. I, I would hope so. $3,000 to $3 million in debt. I mean, what is that, like a 1,000 to 1 ratio? But just in their cash balance, $3,000. So, what are you holding on to at that point? Just spend the three grand yeah, right. and say you have <laughs> nothing. Buy a, buy a nice TV. <laughs> It's somehow worse, right, to, to have only $3,000? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Seems like it's just going to create arguments. Like, if you've got nothing, there's nothing to argue over. But now, well, who, who gets the $3,000? We're going to have one $3, final pizza party, and that's that, about that's it. Right. That's right. Exactly right. right. And the employees can chip in for the Coke. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so, I mean, what, I'm sorry. So, this part of the company, they own the just the, the, they own the, the franchise. MMO. They own the MMO. But they don't own the, they so own it's own not the, the company. They don't own the franchise. Some the the, other part like the it. game you played that you don't right. remember in any way apparently. Right. That that is not this company. They just they, own the okay. So they could even just kind of like draft behind Bethesda, who's making a very successful franchise. Yeah. I mean, I mean Fallout well. Three was yeah. It was so a is, is, hit is, is to, the name of is the name of Fallout worth like you know three million dollars? It's worth three thousand dollars when used in an MMO context. <laughs> it's worth a pizza party at this point. Basically, point. a really nice pizza party. I bet a Fallout MMO IP. It's probably worth $3 million. I'm sure someone's going to buy it. MMOs are weird, though, because you never know. MMOs are either juggernaut cash cows or they go away after about a month or two. True. And they take, you know, it's one of those things where it's, well, it, I, I don't know the economics of it, but it seems like it takes a lot of effort to create an MMO and then it takes an even more phenomenal effort to maintain that MMO. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if the game they've made is shit, though, and it's totally awful. I'm sure a bigger developer will will pay three million dollars just to get the rights to do that, and they'll just redo it themselves. I would, yeah. think, I would plus, think it, it would plus right. they might have some assets, you know, at this point. Yeah, I'm sure they spent money on. That, I'm sure. Yeah, I wouldn't be sure. I wouldn't be sure about any of that. <laughs> they got a Roomba. <laughs> they got to tip the drivers of something. Though. The company seems to be pinning pinning its hopes on financial survival on licensing out owned properties, uh, with the filing noting new entries in the Battle Chess Clay Fighter. Dark Alliance, Earthworm Jim, <laughs> MDK2. If only this was 1996, they'd be okay. <laughs> they also own Descent. <laughs> wow. Wow. You guys laugh like that. <laughs> These are some <laughs> old titles that we play. Like out of control laugh. Like Clay Fighter? <laughs> out of control. Fighter. Descent. Descent. I- <laughs> I mean, a lot of these are like I don't games remember, you played I don't on the 386. I, yeah, I, I, I had so remember. much trouble playing Descent. My computer was a 486 SX 25 megahertz, and that game was so complex, I had to scale the size down. I literally played like in a little postage stamp size resolution on my monitor because I couldn't get the graphics to work any higher. <laughs> Descent was a game where you flew a spaceship into a mine, and you fought other spaceships inside the mine. Yeah, it was like because a three, that just makes sense. It sounds so familiar, but and you I would can't... pick up power-ups. There'd be like blue and green floating balls. Oh, is this one? And if you hit the wall, would you die? Is that? I think so. I'm sure. That's annoying. I mean, come on. What kind of spaceship could it possibly be? I like that they took a spaceship game and they said, what's the one thing people hate about spaceships? It's probably that space. <laughs> 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 Let's put them in a tunnel the entire time. <laughs> it, was a, it, was, it was a huge game at the time. It was very, like, had a lot of, like, cool 3D things at the time. That your iPhone can probably run circles around now, but when you talk about spending that like that, that last three thousand uh, dollars, Joel and I are going to Vegas uh, next week. And you, you might see Interplay. <laughs> yeah, they might be like they, they might have their cash balance they on should, black. They should, they should give us the re- <laughs> remaining money. We can do something with it. We, you could, I well, couldn't. Well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I went to, uh, went to the to the boards last time. I went to the boards last time, man. What do you mean? Um, Joel's a very good gambler. I try, really I, I try and count cards when playing blackjack, and if you know... Nope, what, he doesn't... I don't know why he said that. You know, that <laughs> I'm not near him it, when he does that. Uh, it can work, but sometimes it doesn't always work. But basically, if you've got, like, a plus 10 on a deck, that's a good thing. If you've got a plus 20, that's a really great thing. If you've got a plus 30, that's amazing. I've got a plus I was, 30 I was, on this. I was playing a deck, dude, where it got up to plus 48, and... Um, 
everyone around, and I just went. I went after it, man. I just went after. I started laying down money, started laying down more money, and everyone around me kept winning, winning, winning. I just was the guy at the table who wasn't going to win, and uh, they mm-hmm. took me to the cleaners. It was pretty painful. But I, I have been there when he's doing this, and when he gets really high in these counts, and he starts betting a lot of money. That's when the five foot four Italian pit boss comes over and stands right next I'm to us. I'm glad we're uh, telling this story on the front side of the trip because we're smiling and we're happy about it right now. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I thought we were going to end up in a back room. It gets awkward. Mm-hmm. It yeah. gets awkward. Yeah, it does. When the dude is staring a hole in the yeah. side of your head for 20 it minutes. It gets awkward. And Joel goes, I'm going to cash out. And the guy goes, thank you for coming. And like just stares at him the whole Puts way out. Puts a burlap sack yeah, over was, his head. I, I keep going to, uh, I, I don't know how much I should say. I kept going to Planet Hollywood. And it, like I was go- <laughs> we were going, I, just now. Stopped, I don't care anymore. But it's like I was playing and I was doing it. It was working, it was working, it was working. And some weird like good, weird, sharp dude in a suit all of a sudden like sits down next to me. Yep. And starts playing next to me. And then starts striking up a conversation with me that's sort of like forced conversation. Well, you're kind of hot. Yeah. So it wasn't. I, uh, hopefully, it wasn't that God. But uh, yeah, yeah. Then slowly he was like, "So why are you? Uh, why are you? Why do you keep changing the amount of money that you're betting?" And I'm like, "Check, please. Check, please." <laughs> that was it. I was like, "I'm out." I got my money. I was gone. <laughs> I left. That was me. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen uh, that movie, The Cooler? Uh, I never saw William that H. movie. Macy, Alec Baldwin. I never saw that movie. I'd like to see that movie. I wonder if he was uh, that kind of guy. Guy who shows up to just, he's, he's just a jinx. He's got bad luck. We just they put him next to hot players. It just freaks me out. It's just freaky. Yeah, it's weird. It is a little weird when someone comes and sits next to you and uh, starts asking you about your gambling habits. Yeah. Was he like, hey, what computer are you using? To- <laughs> yeah. why, why are you tapping your foot like that? <laughs> the uh, I, One thing I hate about going to gamble, though, is the interaction between the other players. Like, I, a lot of times I like to go to. Vegas with my wife and she likes to go but now she's at the point where she doesn't want to bet on blackjack anymore she doesn't want to go to blackjack because there's always the jackass who blames her because she just bets yeah. however she wants yeah. to this you is know? something that has got to be addressed. Like, certain people think that, like, oh, if a person in front of you takes a card, oh, they've messed it up for you've everyone. taken my queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've cost me money. How about this Can jackass? Co- Don't bet at the $10 table with my wife. Yeah. Don't don't be don't be the guy counting cards or working working the uh, the betting card at the ten dollar table. It, it makes it's it's it, it, we have to put a stop to that. It makes it's, it's totally irrational. It's it makes awful. No, it makes no sense whatsoever. You know, it makes, think, it makes would, me uncomfortable. I wouldn't go. Like I've I've been asked to go to like Vegas. Like Jeff's like, well, do you want to go to Vegas? I I am just not into gambling, and I think there's an intimidation have, have factor. Ever, have like, you ever been? You never been. No, I haven't been, but I do think you, that, should, you guys should go. Well, I can tell you based on like just camping, like going and playing poker, at, like camping with friends that I'm terrible and I know that I would lose money but I think that there's an intimidation factor like and if somebody started giving you shit at the table I think that would just be the end of it for yeah, me you just gotta have yeah, yeah. a friend with you or someone on your side like a friend in a suit boring holes into people's no no this, this is this is you this has not been pitched to you correctly because you're going from the gambling aspect and all that stuff it's a bunch of good looking people from all over the place dressed up really nicely and all completely drunk the entire time that's what Vegas is Basically, would you agree with that? Sure. Yeah. Why do you, I mean, so it's all good-looking people. Who's, this, depends, who, who, who's keeping the ugly people well, out of town? It depends don't, on where don't you go. go to Buffalo. Depends <laughs> on where you go. Depends where you go. There's, 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 there's you a go. line in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Do not go to Excalibur. Yeah. <laughs> do not, do okay. not go in that area. Yeah, because that sounds that like un- unrealistic. I don't, but I say that, but then Austin's full of a lot of good-looking people. I don't know how it, you know, it balances out. The ugly people just stay home. They order room service, I guess, <laughs> or something like that. They're eating wings at the Hooters Hotel and Casino. Well, I would like to go just to see some shows. Um, I went. I was. Saw, I saw this thing on no, um, that's terrible. Discovery Channel or something or about a program there. Where um, is there a university in Vegas? Yeah, I think so. I don't I know think, what it is. Do you know UNLV. Uh, UNLV. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, they've got like a, a science alongside art program where like people will come up with like these ideas, like a toaster that shoots like fireworks or something, like some crazy <laughs> so, show thing. Practical. And then they have, then this they have sounds, the science this side. This perfect for you. <laughs> I don't know, something weird. And then they have like the science side, figure out how to do it and put it, incorporate it into a show and like figure out all the, like the science of it. It's kind of interesting. That's like, right down your alley. No, but I think it would be cool. I yeah. think like that aspect of Vegas would appeal to me more yeah. than like going and losing all of my money. Okay. Well, there's more than you don't have you, to gamble. There's other stuff in Vegas. There's, Prostitu- also, there's prostitution. There's, well, not no, in Vegas. No, not in Vegas. Just Vegas. women holding signs. No, men. Later. Men holding cards. Holding, and holding cards with girls with numbers and yeah, yeah. not in it Vegas. <laughs> right. Yeah, none of that makes any sense to me whatsoever. Like the dudes handing out the car. I don't. I, I don't. How really? could you be comfortable where it's like it shows you a, a, a picture of like a, the perfect centerfold like that? I can't imagine that that's what would show up. I just can't imagine that. I imagine something with like three arms. I, would I, don't, show really up. Com- <laughs> I don't really have a comment. I don't really have a comment for they, this. No, at all. they keep. I, I'm scared of 
all the, all of, they keep I'm scared of all of they it. keep all the ugly prostitutes outside of town with the ugly people. Like they're all. <laughs> the, <laughs> I don't know, man. They're all the Bellagio. <laughs> That's where they are, Joel. But we were trying to convince Jack to go. Um, uh, because he's going to be in E3. I'm coming back from E3, and I'm going to go to Vegas on my way back from E3. And I know Joel is the one guy where I said, hey, I'm going to be in Vegas for one night. Why don't you come out? And Joel's like, okay, I'm going to be there. So Joel will be there for one night and then also two nights more after well, that. Well, yeah, yeah, come on. you, you got to get your money back after you yeah. lose it. So exactly. we're trying to convince and Here comes Jack, just in time. Uh, so we're com- trying to convince Jack to go, and he's like, oh, I can't go. I don't want to you know, spend the money to go. And then he looks up the price of the ticket from L.A. to oh, Vegas. Oh, you're talking about Vegas. Yeah. Okay. And he looks it up. It's $29 to fly from L.A. to what? Vegas. One, one way, $29 from LAX to the Las Vegas International. That's got to be how, how yeah. all airlines make their money. Is that on it's Southwest? from the L.A. Yeah. to yeah. Vegas. Yeah. That's, That's it, right? The one that, that makes up for all the other I, You money. think Vegas subsidizes that flight? You think like the, the, like the city council or whatever is like that? Yeah, well, yeah. I know I used to fly out of John Wayne, which is the uh, the OC. Oh yeah, the the airport up uh, up in the valley, mm-hmm. and they actually have like terminals that are like painted with Vegas stuff, and they have Vegas ads. Like it's literally just a flight from there to Las Vegas. That's oh, the no. only thing that flies out of that terminal. Wait, isn't John Wayne Santa Ana? Uh, no, no, that's up north. It's Who up, gives up no, 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 North no. Hollywood. Oh. No, no, what? Yeah, it's the John Wayne Airport. No, John Wayne Airport is in Long Beach. Which one am I, what am I thinking? Dear Lord, thinking this is exactly uh, what happens. Because you both used to live in LA. <laughs> LA people Burbank. love to you're talk about geography. <laughs> Burbank, Burbank. <laughs> like if you think Burbank. Burbank. So that's what I'm thinking. Bob Hope. Bob Hope. Bob Hope. John, yeah, Wayne. John Wayne's down in the OC. That's right. If, if you, you ever if go you, to LA <laughs> with, with people and you go to dinner, part of the experience of going out with people it's, in LA is you stand in a parking lot outside your cars right. and you go, How are you going to the restaurant? It's like I'm gonna go the 405. And say, you're you're because crazy. It's, 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 so it's, it's part terrible. of the challenge. It's, it's stay the up the 101. Stay up the 110. It's a challenge in every in LA. It's a fight. You got to figure it out. You're gonna move this way. You that way. That's, <laughs> why, that's why it took us. It took us two and a half hours to go six miles to see you know, the guy who makes the drunk tank. Well, you did, you did you guys, did you guys talk was, about it? Did you guys talk about which way you were going to go before you went? No, see? we were stupid. We I trusted had, Mac. I had a similar experience. One time we were out at a commercial shoot in the valley. Joel and I were out there. And uh, it, we were like, okay, we got to get to the airport. It started raining. We got stuck in traffic. It was only like six miles. It took us like two and a half hours, right? About 15 minutes into the drive, Joel goes, I'm going to sleep. And just falls asleep <laughs> next to me in the passenger seat and just leaves me alone in fucking traffic in the rain for two and a half goddamn yeah, hours. I, I know that. I know that commute very well. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stickhead. Man. And like, I was so angry. Just like the, the water was like steaming off of the car as it hit it from my fucking rage. I remember at one point I did wake up for a second because one of the warning lights started going off. Yes. I was like, is that a warning light? <laughs> I'm going back to bed. So anyway, Vegas next week. We're so, going. So one of the things we determined was like it goes back to this $3,000 in cash that Interplay has. It's like $29 to fly from Los Angeles to Vegas. One way. Somehow it was Which, more expensive to not go. It's like that <laughs> amount of money. Well, you have $30. You, you lose more money just to exist like the calories you burn, something. So, I don't know. Something. I don't know what's going on. It's like it's paying for air or but something. If you, take, if you take that flight, if you take that Los Angeles, if you take that Los Angeles to Vegas flight Friday yes. night. I know it is the to... greatest flight ever. I hear that's a good flight. It is I, I've heard stories ever. about that flight. Yeah, on the way back Sunday, not as good. No, Did no. You ever, I, I, lo- <laughs> no. I love going to the airport when I was in LA and seeing those flights out to Vegas on like Thursday and like Friday afternoons. You could see the working girls who were going out to work at the clubs oh, yeah, on the weekends yeah, yeah. and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I know what they're doing. The ones wearing nine inch heels, at, you know, waiting for the Southwest flight. Yeah. You could uh, be on that flight. I could be on that flight. It's not. It's no, not, I'm flying on like a Tuesday. It's, yeah, uh, on an E3, he's like busting yeah, away. Yeah, you don't want to see those. <laughs> like, like <laughs> I have a lunch meeting that's at two o'clock. So lunch meeting lasts what, maybe an hour, hour and a half at the most. So at three thirty, I'm free. So at three thirty, booked your flight yet? Yes, I have because okay, I had, to book, your, I had information. to book a flight at like eight thirty p.m. because I had no confidence that I could get. From a restaurant to the airport in less than five hours. <laughs> if you show up early, you can also just stand by and just try to get on an earlier flight. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah. You don't really stand by. You just walk up and say, hey, I have a ticket on a later flight. Can I get on this one? They're usually like, yep, get on. Mm-hmm. Especially Southwest. All right. Yeah. Well, send me your information because I haven't booked I my flight yet. So I, want, need, I need to book mine. Are Do you, you want to complain? You're going? About- I'm going. <laughs> don't, let, don't let Kim hear that high five. Okay. So do, do, you want, do you want to give him shit about talking to your girlfriend and making her feel bad for not I being able to go? I feel terrible. You should. Oh, I feel man. terrible. What happened? So okay. So Jack owes me. No, I don't owe you a, shit. Well, not <laughs> anymore. Jack owed me about four hundred dollars. No, because I, of a trip that we were going to go to Vegas. That you canceled on, on us because you I were was afraid working. of invisible snow. I so was how working. did you? No, I, I have a, a job. Trip, I have make a job. Him owe you money. Where I have a job where if somebody calls me, then I got to work. And did you work it all that weekend? 
Yes. No, you well, didn't. Dude, like on no, Monday, no, no, I had to jump on a plane. I was out of town for like a month and a half. He, I, okay. I don't understand. Guys, I don't understand that's just a basic <laughs> transaction here. He canceled the trip. I remember the trip. We were yeah. all going to because Vegas. Jack, we were going to Vegas. Jack, my flight was canceled because, because of there the was snow. two minutes of snow on the ground in Austin. Yeah. It literally was by, two by minutes. By the way, I wound up in a ditch that morning. Just so I crashed. Yeah, the accident. snow lasted a little bit. It was actually decent for Austin. It, by, by noon, it was gone. Yeah, but we just had we we were the one flight that was canceled yeah. that morning. Okay, and then he Joel here decides I'm just not going to go because I, I have other obligations. Other whatever. obligations, but he's not going to go. How the fuck, Jack? Do you owe because him four hundred dollars for can- he canceled the trip? I, I put all, I put the flights on my credit card and I paid him the money because that way we booked them together. So that would be we be all on one thing. And then he gave me a check for uh, however much and it so was. Jack has had le- leverage on me for about three months. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not we, anymore. You, you no, used the clear. credit and it and was in your I name. I thought after I heard the story of the thirty dollar ticket. I was going to be like, okay, great. I'll just book my cheap ticket, and then I'll give the rest of the money to Kim. Yeah. So Kim can go. And um, my flight was way more expensive than $30. Well, because he saw my flight from, from Austin. Yeah, he's an idiot. And so he's like, ooh, $29 yeah. for <laughs> flight to, to Vegas. <laughs> So anyway, I thought it was universal. One flight, they all cost the same, right? And so, so, so my girlfriend has the difference is going to be six hundred dollars. She has she has a normal, real nine to five job, and so I'm thinking, you know, and Bernie's like, "Well, invite her if, if she can go. Jordan will go too. It'll be great. They can have fun. It'll be awesome." And I'm thinking, she, there's no way she can get a week off work, you know, or like the you know, thing, time off work a week before going is, on a trip. Is it? And so I was like, I was going to offer it to her and be like, "If you want to go, it'd be awesome." You got you guys are doing. Joel calls her. Anyway. And he's like, "Go ahead and put it on your calendar. You're going." I was like, like, "Come on!" So he's no, like trying to no. pressure her into it that's, and it's that's like not, and so i was no. like i had to apologize i'm like i'm sorry joel's i got a idiot. bunch of like and, angry text messages last night so anyway i was gonna offer it to her you know fully if, if, but if it happened awesome is, but not at all but he was trying to she pressure thinks, her into she it. thinks it's gonna be like a vacation happy fun trip and trips to vegas are not happy vacation fun trips joel, you those are, are trips where you have to focus <sighs> and you get again and get in there and the You're thing, the thing that the, why Joel and I work so well is that he'll be sitting there concentrating on the cards, and I will just be sitting there drunk and talking to the dealer nonstop. And Which he, is perfect. he likes it because it slows him down, and I like talk to the other oh, people right. at the table. And right. he, Joel likes the fact that I can slow it down. Do you I mean, all like? Also, do, you all, do you all walk up to the table like you don't know each other? Like one of you sits down first, and no, then like five minutes later, no, the other no, one no, shows no, up. No, no, nothing like that. That's just you really get in trouble um, when you use the team system. That don't do that. No, I'm just I'm just there but gambling as I normally gamble. I'm not gamble. so good at it that I can like if they start talking to me, that really fucks me up. Right. So I can't talk to anyone. Like they, I need someone to absorb, to deflect the conversation. Those fucking deal, some of those people just want to right fucking talk about shit. Nice. I don't know what the fuck mm-hmm. they want to talk about. Just look like a lunatic. He's like like this. That. He's good at that in Vegas. Yeah. Actually, I've never seen Joel happier in my life than the time we spent in Vegas last time we went. Which is actually until, for Kim's birthday. Until the end. Like, there's a funny what 24 hours difference yeah, can make. Yeah. When Joel's up in Vegas, you'll never see a happier Joel. It's like stock that's market, a, Joel. And that's, Same thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. short-term sh- stock market, Joel. Same anyway, exact. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, so we won't get into it. But thanks. all right. Well, thanks, Jack. I wanted you to come in. All right, cool. Well, yell go, at Joel. We're actually in the middle of horse right now, so I got to go back to that. So, oh yeah. Thanks for having me on. All right. Bye. So the uh, the funniest announcement I ever heard on an airline was on that Friday night flight from L.A. to Las Vegas because mm-hmm. the flight attendants know. Everyone on the flight is already drunk before they even get on it. And the Southwest flight attendant had one of the funniest, like, safety spiels. At one point, uh, she actually said, um, in the event of cabin depressurization, the mask will drop. If you tra- put your mask on, the bag will not inflate. If you're traveling with a small child, put your mask on first and then assist your child. If you're traveling with more than one child... Rank them in order of potential and just work your way down the list. <laughs> I thought that nice. was one of the funniest things ever. Nice. Of course, there's not a kid anywhere on that flight, but and, a, and everybody's laughing their ass off because. But they're secretly taking count of their children. They're secretly, you're secretly figuring it out. Which one's going to put me in the home? Which one's going to support me? Exactly. <laughs> Do you think people consider that with your kids? I wonder, because, you know, but, pe- yeah, I think the parents, as much as parents, they, uh, I don't play favorites, I think they do. I mean, and there's, like, studies sh- saying that, like, firstborns usually get more resources and, like. Because they deserve it. You know, you, well, you wonder if the parents have. Said as a firstborn. <laughs> well, you wonder if the parents have more energy on the first kid than they do the second kid. Yeah, but, then, sure. but then there's reason that, like, the youngest usually get babied, you know, like. I don't know. They tend to get more spoiled, and then at that point, the parents are usually better parents too. They've learned a few things. Yeah, or they just stop paying attention. That's what happened to me. I drafted behind my brother for eighteen years. Well, yeah, I think it depends my... on like your brother was a bit of a troublemaker, right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So you didn't cause trouble as much as he did. Well, so. you could also argue they paid closer attention. 
You know what I mean? And that's how people get in trouble. You know, he was under a higher level of scrutiny than I was. I mean, we were only two years apart. Yeah, my older brother's like three years apart, and he was an utter hellraiser. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, to the point where he wound up, you know, in a military academy. Oh, yeah, you know, really? That sort of deal, yeah. So. That's so funny. I've got a friend who got sent to a military academy. It's crazy because he his parents caught him smoking pot in high school. And, yeah, it's a big deal. Like, you should punish your kid. They sent him to this, like, military camp in the Midwest. They took out a second mortgage on their home to do, do know, it. Do you remember the name of it? Uh, no, I'll find out. I can find out for you if you want. Um, and he came back like six months later. He had missed out on we, uh, my high school had like a college grant. You had to graduate to get it. And he had been at the school for years and years and years and was going to set to get this grant to pay for his college. Mm-hmm. And so sending him away, they took out a second margin, uh, mortgage on their home. They screwed him out of his college money. And he came back way worse than he ever started because he was hanging out with thugs yeah. the whole time. He came back into harder drugs. Yeah. Um, pissed off at his parents where yeah. he wasn't when he wasn't before. Like it did not help him. I yeah. find those situations are like a, they're almost like a higher education for criminal criminal activity. It's mm-hmm. like right. someone can be oh I got busted for something then I went to prison then I really learned how to be a criminal. Yeah. You know. Or <laughs> I, I, went to I don't know what guns. I was doing. Yeah. yeah. The I, military I academy rifles. Academy. Now I know how to shoot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been trained. Now I have a crew that I know. Yeah. And the same thing with those military academies too. It's like yeah. Yeah. For sure. So I know Jeff's not here today, but I actually had a weird thing that came up. Gus, I guess I'll talk to you about it. Uh, Hit me. On Dead Rising 2, I've been playing a lot of that lately. That's like okay. my current treadmill game. I played that. And uh, so do you care about the achievements in Dead Rising 2 at all? I don't care about any achievements. You don't at all. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's one in Dead Rising 2 where it's called like Zombie Foo or something like that, where you have to kill a thousand zombies. They have all those stupid kill counter achievements. There's right. There's one to kill like 72,000 zombies by any means. Mm-hmm. But this one I was going for was was one where you had to kill a thousand zombies unarmed, so hand to hand combat, which sucks because you know it, the whole game is based on weapons and combo weapons, and you're just you're punching these zombies. Plus, you so want to keep them at distance. So you can't even use like a blade or like the what chain stick or chains on the stick or anything like that. Nothing. It's just... barehanded. So, but you can use the special moves that you get as you level up, mm-hmm. and one of them is like this flying kick that you can do, like just a jump kick. Um, so, there's, but there's a problem with that in that. Yeah, I was reading tips on how to do it, and I guess just in the natural, like, build of the game and when they were developing it, the female zombies are slightly less resilient than the male zombies. They have, like, a lower health. Okay. And so you can kick, do this jump kick, and kill the female zombies in one kick, and it takes two kick for the male zombies. It's just, like, right at that level, right? It doesn't seem fair. So you're tar- having, like, targeting females. I'm yeah. literally running through a crowd, getting excited when I see a female zombie because I can find kick the <laughs> <and> zombie <laughs> killer. And, and it's just like... I'm, just, I'm embarrassed by that. I was like, it's like, I was like, what am I doing? It's like this horrible experience. Like, it's bad enough that we're playing this zombie game and everything, and now it's like I'm afraid my wife's gonna watch it and be watch me run through a crowd of zombies, like kicking, kicking women. All the it's like well, kicking no, this, all the this, women. This, this brings up the question, right? Now, once you're a zombie, you're not a person anymore. That's right. 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 I mean, so you're not male or you, female. Let's anymore. not reverse you're engineer your comment, though. What you're saying there. So you're saying that, like. If w- before there's zombies, yeah, that totally makes sense. You should, oh, right, you right, should right. run to the crowd, <laughs> kick in. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. See, that makes logical sense. This is this is this is a thing, a spiral of death to even talk about this kind of thing. But I was very disturbed by that. I wish they had not done that. No. Yeah, once you become a zombie, I think aren't the powers uh, like all across the board supposed to be the same? That's well, what Joel's I mean, saying. Yeah, no, right. I mean, what's the point? I mean, it's like, do you not have to? You can only kind of shoot them in the head. I mean, or you have the same baseline abilities. Well, no, I guess yeah. you don't. That's what, what it is. It's a different starting point. Well, you still have a... You've, I mean, if are you talking about whether or not your the strength should matter when somebody's zombified? Right, like, they should be that, the same. I, I wouldn't think so because no? it's the same body that you're working with, even if it's got some kind of... But the disease takes over and then, you know, it creates this super scary... Allow me to Uber be perfectly <laughs> clear. If live or dead, if somebody runs to a mall... <laughs> And jump kicks me in the forehead. <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> I won't need the second kick. You know, this is actually a very relevant discussion too, because we have who has joined us here. This other voice that has joined us is Kathleen, Hello. who plays the voice of Tex. Hey guys, who in Red versus Blue is our most resilient character and a female. Yes, and does all the kicking. <laughs> yeah, much kicking. Yeah. And I, I, I don't. You know, I don't fancy the men or the women. I'll just kick them all. It doesn't matter. They all go down. I noticed at RTX, I see a lot of photos in the photo gallery that we have, which you can find at roosterteeth.com slash RTX. There's a lot of photos of you punching people in the balls. Were you recreating episode 10 from last year? Yeah. Everybody wanted me to uh, really? hit him in the <laughs> from, from because of, you know, everything I did to Griff. 
And yeah. so, I thought yes. you were just working out some anger. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> some pent up stuff. No. Uh, and uh, they, that was like the highlight for them to actually see To that. get punched in the balls. Yes. Yeah. Well, I didn't actually, you know, there was no oh, contact. Right. No, no schmoing <laughs> going on? No, don't knock it, Gus. <laughs> no. To each their own. So did you have a great, good time at RTX, Kathleen? RTX was fantastic. I think uh, overall it's been the most uh, phenomenal event and uh, interacting with everybody. It, yeah, it was a blast. Well, good. Thanks for, <laughs> and, thanks, yeah. thanks for joining us. Yeah, right. We hope you can and, be back soon. Yeah, right. <laughs> for comparison, Kathleen goes to, uh, you go to mainly Comic-Con. You've been to a few PAXs. Oh, gosh. I've been to yeah, you've conventions been to, and yeah, you, RVBTO and Can West and you, you've Italy. Been to, you've been to some of the small ones. You've been to some of yeah. the big ones. You've yeah. Been, Over, that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, here's the thing. I don't want to. Uh, you know, kind of diminish how awesome the other ones are. No, do it. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Throw them under the bus. But uh, no, this one I think was absolutely the best. I had the best time. It was exhausting. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I think uh, I didn't stop talking and, uh, you know, writing and, and handshaking. And for kicking. The, and kicking. And you and did a flying jump into a pool shooting a water gun at people. That's right. That was the highlight for me. And really, I, I think, had... Uh, I've seen like several angles of that. Thing, yeah. It looks pretty amazing. I think we're going to... I have to do some slow-mo on that or something like that. I get the slow-mo guys to work on it. But... And there was no alcohol involved. I figured, you know what? What what better to you know, was, do a dress if, with makeup on is to jump into a pool with a with If water there was game. alcohol, you probably would be falling into the pool. That's not true. Jumping That's true. Into the pool. Right. Speaking of the no alcohol involved, we had a meeting to some of RTX today, and everyone was everyone in the st- everyone in the staff is like, "Well, I'd only had two beers the whole day." Like, yeah, every, every single person. Those must have been the two strongest beers in the motherfucking world because everyone right. got I, fucking I, plastered I know, off of two beers. I don't know. I had I had way more than two beers. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Yeah, I you had, you were the only one who stayed quiet during that discussion. But, uh, <laughs> but I felt like it went smooth for me. So, I, I mean, it was all... Well, here's the funny thing about you and that Jeff pointed out to me. is like, Joel, he will get wasted on his first drink. But then he can drink 20 drinks and maintain that same level. He's not yeah. going to get more drunk. You know what? Focus. Focus. Okay, yeah, yeah. Focus. <laughs> Must stay focused. Focus. That metabolism in order. Yeah, once mm-hmm. he gets to a plus 20, then he really starts to <laughs> I, I think I've settled on a new drink because of RTX. I think I've settled on a gin and tonic. Is me Ooh, gin, gin and tonic, and it's a great summer drink. It is a good summer drink. Yeah. See, you know the problem ha- is when the when people start bringing that moonshine. Because I know I can have maybe two, three glasses of wine. That's kind of the limit at a quick type of period. But when they pull out the moonshine and this other stuff that doesn't even have a name, and they want to do a <laughs> shot, and mm-hmm. I'm thinking, I'm this is not good. This yeah. is go downhill. So I try to say no sometimes, but you know. You do once in a while. You take it, and you're thinking, "Wow, should I go back up to my room quickly?" Or <laughs> yeah, we uh, someone from the site brought us a couple bottles of moonshine, and one of them was this bottle of moonshine that has cherries in it that are that have been soaked in it. And the next time we do a video podcast, I'm going to bring it. If anyone wants to try to eat one of those cherries, they're more than welcome <laughs> Dear to. Dear Lord, it, I, I, I ate one. It burns. Oh, it's, it's literally no. like fire going down your throat. I don't understand what the whole like. I feel like. All I hear about now is moonshine being brought. To people bringing moonshine or moonshine. Like, Wait, when, when did that we be- start coming? Yeah, when, yeah, did, when did it come moonshine? back into fashion? And it's I understand in the past, like during the prohibition, it made sense. But now we have great drinks that we can get at any time. We can go get right. a gin and tonic at any time. Why would we eat like a a cherry soaked in rubbing alcohol? You know why? <laughs> you know why? Why not? There you go. I like that. I don't know if why not's the best. Attitude. Why not? <laughs> Same reason why I just discovered Adam, who's our new Linux administrator. Uh, we went to go eat at this local Chinese restaurant, and he took the jar of like crushed hot peppers Ooh, and put oh. half of that thing in his meal. And I go, Whoa. "Wow!" I go, "You That's... really like hot stuff?" He goes, oh. "I love hot I, stuff." I, I, one time we were at Chipotle, and he had the uh, chips and salsa, the hot salsa. And I guess he ran out of chips, so he drank the hot salsa. No, like he, he did. Yeah, he picked up the cup of it. It was like, whoop. Yeah, he grows wow. his own peppers and stuff, too. Right. Yeah. Oh, got that's that conversation. right. Yeah. What's that one he, he got he, from? He has the a boot cabinet boot. in his house that he keeps just for hot sauces, mm-hmm. and he grows those ghost peppers. The boot yeah. 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 Which is the... Where, what where, is it where like? Where's that on the chart? It's like a Off million, chart. Pl- a million <laughs> plus Scoville. Yeah. The closest thing to it is mace <laughs> seriously <laughs> is pepper spray that's the closest wow. thing to this pepper and i put that on all my foods so yeah, yeah you just missed it a little bit <laughs> oh man I, you know i can't even imagine me hitting the face with mace um because i, I one time in a yeah, I mean, i've been hit with mace have you really yeah yeah is it something it. you want to brag ah. about how's that how's I that got, I, oh sorry i should clarify i got maced by uh it was, it was a total misunderstanding she didn't understand what i was saying no i got maced by a uh, i got maced by a security guard once. What were you really? doing? Nah, it's the, By you know, mistake. College. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, 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 told, ow. you know, there's a 
sticking on the boot jalokia thing, there's a wing place that opened up by our house over there in Hancock that has boot jalokia wings. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. I'd like to try. I've never had one they before. Have, they have like, a challenge to eat, like, 25 wings. <laughs> Shut up. They have a challenge to eat 25 <laughs> wings in 10 minutes. And if you can eat 25 <laughs> wings in 10 minutes, you get $10. Ten dollars. That doesn't seem <laughs> and worth And your picture it. on the wall. And then what happens to the, the your insides at that point? <laughs> you're, you're, the ten dollars. Yeah, have a cup of milk your, right there, standing copay. by. To <laughs> your, <laughs> your, your, your insides get to pose in the picture with you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, that strategy does not work if you're lactose intolerant. Though. Wor- worst part about getting hit with mace <laughs> is the shower later. <gasps> which, oh God! Wow, it reactivates. Up, it just comes from everywhere, like your hair and everything, oh. and just yeah. it's bad. I was once in a large room, like a, it was a choir, like in high school, like the choir room or whatever. And uh-huh. somebody just as a joke sprayed like one mist. We had to clear out, mm-hmm. and like when we went in, like all day, I was like everyone would be choking just in one mist in an open huge room. Has I can't a, imagine getting it right in the face or the eyes. Has uh, anyone here been uh, tased? No, no, no. no. no tased. Sounds like some experiment you? for the video I, podcast. I, I <laughs> Immersion. Shit, Immersion. fuck you. I've been hit with a cattle prod as a joke. Oh, but that's I haven't been tased. Like, Hilarious. <laughs> I love that joke. It's it so is, funny. It is a great joke. <laughs> What's the punchline? Hey, there was a guy <laughs> there was a guy in California that got tased and, and uh, he died. It was that, like, see, that's, I knew, yeah. That's, yeah. See, it's always one person that ruins it for Sorry. me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be that taste it's person. Like, I heard about this one guy who got shot. He died. Got <laughs> well, because oh. usually I'm that person. I like, they always say, oh, one in a million people that has that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's and it's you, always uh, me. Like, it's sometimes it inter- interrupts <laughs> yeah. people's heartbeat or something yeah, like that. right. Right. Okay. See, I always think that I'm that person, but nobody's that person. Nobody has the weird reaction. You know what I mean? It's like the the, the weirdest thing like that statistically that ever happened to me is I got hospitalized once for poison ivy. But that's it. Oh, um, no, I you thought. didn't. Yeah. Ha, you got it. You was a when you were in college, right? Yeah, we were setting up a, a party, and uh, we had to cut down all this bamboo to do it. And uh, we didn't know it, we were carrying these big stacks of bamboo, and it had poison ivy all over it. So I got it completely on the inside of my arms like that. And then, I think then of course, it was like a jungle swamp party. <laughs> and so then I, I after then I had the poison ivy reaction. I still went to the party anyway, and like. Who God knows what the hell was in that water? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like just grossness. So it got pretty bad. I got so, hospitalized for a couple of days. So you swam around in like swamp, like poison ivy swamp water. Yeah, I, apparently from photos you posted on Twitter, it it was like Jack's pool water. What the oh. fuck were you guys oh, doing? Oh my God! Oh, I know. Oh, How no. drunk were you to get to even think I wasn't, about that? I was the designated driver. Oh, you know? that was fucking I was the last disgusting. To get in. As yeah, bad as it, bad. it looked, it, it felt worse. Griffin only had two beers. <laughs> <laughs> No, I actually, I was, yeah. Caleb was like the designated driver all weekend or whatever. And like, he was sober the whole weekend. So I was like, okay, no, I will take the bullet this time. Um, like, take the bullet. <laughs> the I'll deal bullet. with you. Pe- I'll deal with you people without being drunk. <laughs> um, so no, it was pretty slimy. But I, at this point, we'd all come to Jack's house for this pool party. And it was like Dude, the when, polite when thing Jack, to do to get Jack into the gets slime. into like peer pressure. He is like no one else I've never known well, in my I, entire I was, life. I was worried about hurting he his feelings. He decides something. With the pool? He's was just like, just everyone, we're going to have hot dogs. And then that's it. He's just going to peer pressure everyone. And like before you know it, everyone's eating hot dogs. <laughs> I, I, I just don't understand it. I've never seen anything like it. It's just like he works on you in ways. Yeah. I, it's just, but you're right about the tech. Like, there, there was nothing safe or no. agreeable or correct about no. the pool. And we would all go, there was like nine of us and one of him. The and pool. all nine of us would be like, dude, dude, the pool is, is weird. And he would just be like, well, filter. We were like, oh, all He's right. like, I got the filter on, guys. It's on now. No. <laughs> but we all wound up in the pool. So and it was the best, part, the best, worst part about it was that it was, it was really warm. Oh, and it was boy. slimy. <laughs> like, a lot of it was slimy. That's so gross. <laughs> and then, and then, and then it's like we're all, we're, and it's like he somehow convinced people to get in the pool. They don't know what happened, but they're in the pool, but they're not going to sit down in the pool. Oh. Yo, we're just they're standing not in sit it. sit down in the pool. We're just standing, oh. but Jack's like, no, no, sit down. You must like, sit. No, no. And Are then I know, and then I get in the pool and I lean against the side and I get yelled at because some of the water spills out. It's like, let's keep this water, <laughs> whatever you do. Let's it, there's something about it, right? Where he's just, <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. He said, he informed us, though, that since he has, he actually turned the filter on, it's uh, it's a lot better now. And he, his his rationale too was like it's about to be dark and it'll look clear then. <gasps> cool. yeah. Oh, that's retarded! Oh my gosh! Don't make fun of him. Y'all are just as dumb for getting in there. Y'all are not up the. I hook. didn't say we weren't stupid. 
<laughs> the water was green. The, the pictures that you posted on Twitter was he like told me more so people bad. that I used to like he sitting in green me, water. He told me it was St. Patrick's Day. Oh my god. We were convinced we would get superpowers, so we followed through. We did, yeah. <laughs> but we're still waiting. How, how, yeah, how did that work out for you? And then, and then, uh, and then you all and had then hot dogs. I went home and I forgot to shower. I don't know how uh, you did that. How do you I don't know how you did that. I, I it was a long week. I didn't feel human until I showered. It was a long I had to. I was like laying in bed like for an hour and I was like, what is that smell? Oh, oh. Like, my God. Y'all are fucking gross. <laughs> y'all are fucking like, gross. It was like That's algae. They say algae is good for the did environment. You, after you took your shower, did you at least wash your sheets? After you'd been laying I'm in the bed? I'm going to have to wash. Yeah. Okay, good point. Okay, so why don't we all remember to call Joel and remind him tonight? You know, I have to say that um, there's we we had a very good event with RTX, and we've been to a lot of different conventions. And probably the stinkiest convention we ever went to was the very first PAX. There was a room I don't know if you remember it, Gus, oh. a gaming room. Oh. You couldn't approach the room because it was they did a thing where the first couple PAXs they were open. 24 hours so people could be in there playing all night so by the second or third day which means if you can then they will you literally like you had to like the room was so stinky if you went into it you had to like lean forward to get through the snake like because it would push you out of the room yeah and, <laughs> and so that being said our convention was awesome our fans were great but people you watch. always have the one or two people who just don't get it and i don't know why i don't know how you don't what is that? How do you not just shower? I don't think that it's conventions. I mean, that happens every day. And I mean, if you go to any kind of large crowd, there's always going to be somebody. But who's I feel like, like the percentage is higher at conventions typically. I know I, at a convention day anywhere. I'm not talking about RTX anywhere. Be, yeah, yeah. I know I'm going to run into that that person that day, and they're going to want to and they're going to want to touch. Do you think it's an age thing, or do you think it's like the kind of things that we're, those people? It's like, like a mental defect. A mental defect. <laughs> I think a lot of kids, they I'm, I'm dumb, I'm not they laughing. don't shower. Well, and, just don't and younger shower. people tend to, like, they're a little bit more hormonal than the rest of us. <laughs> like, I don't know. No, I remember I was at a Dallas convention, and I my hair was down, and this girl came up, and she hugged me, and um, her, in her armpit, like, my hair went under her armpit, and it smelled, my hair reeked oh, God. until I could, sh- it was disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, you just, just want, cut it off? I wanted like, oh. to. Just burn it. No, but it's like, I, I think, and there's sometimes you see the signs that say, you know, bathe, yeah. don't forget to bathe. So that being said, how, what do you do? What do you? How, how do you tell somebody that? Take a shower. Yeah. You stink. Just you mace them. Yeah, or Febreze them. Um, I'm sure can't leave the picture of your pool it's water. So, this, this, this picture is so fucking oh my funny. Gosh. Oh, I would never have gotten into that. That is so bad. All right. That's been, oh, that's, my that's been, God. That's been Photoshopped. That's, defi- that's definitely going in the link dump. I, I'll, uh, I'll Photoshop Swamp Thing in there you, with you guys. Is, is that a rubber go- pool? I like how we're all smiling yeah, and in denial, oh. waving. Like, look, I this think, is the seven people before they're. I think before we, they we were all so exhausted <laughs> that our brains probably just weren't functioning at normal capacity. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, the, oh. the bacteria colony that took over your skull. Don't they have that, a show, probably, the, the monster within. The Soon, you guys will have those like worms coming out of your head. And yeah, I think the bacteria. Gross. Everyone in that pool has actually has been taken over. <laughs> You what? filtered at the office. It's, I gotta say too, it's one of the things. It's one thing to do it. It's a completely different level to tweet about it. What the fuck <laughs> out there? It was funny. Yeah, no, We're talking about it now. Public information. Funny. Never. It's never coming back. Yeah, hilarious. It's like the cattle prod joke. <laughs> so you know, remember uh, was it Acon we all, all those years ago that we went, we're... where they made that phone with the squirrel video yeah, yeah. where they had the rules of the con and I think yes. every other rule was take a Dang. shower. Yeah. yeah. So just take a shower. That's all we're saying. Take a shower. If you're in doubt. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you think we're talking about you specifically, we probably are. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. the thing. It takes like five minutes. It'll last for a while. It is. But less, right. it'll the only last about a day. Friend. Also, we, we also, we also tested the patience of our, uh, our attendees in one or two ways this weekend. We had a couple, some very hot weather and we did a one, so a, a hot. couple of outdoor events. We did a, uh, an RT production that they participated in, which was a they were uh, troopers, man. They were awesome. Yeah. They were so awesome. They were fantastic. Uh, but it was hot that day, you know, and they, they put up with a lot. They it really was, put up with a lot. It was about 15 to 20 makeup. degrees hotter than it should have been for this time of year. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was hot, and then at some point, and I don't want to, I mean, I, I don't know how much we've talked about, but a lot of people had, like, corn syrup. <laughs> on their arms. Yeah. Next time that we asked them to lay down in the like itchy Texas grass, that we're was, like, we're "Watch dads. out for fire ants, everyone!" <gasps> oh, <laughs> like, no. We had signs of like, "This is what a fire ant hill looks mm-hmm. like," and then we're like, "Everyone, lay down." The ants only took one person, <laughs> <laughs> which is better than we expected. It was more than enough for the <laughs> colony. The corn syrup made it really realistic. The blood drift. It was pretty kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I mean, you know, if I a lot of those guys are younger or whatever, and it's like if I'm their age, I'll, I'll do all that. You know, that's that's all good. I don't care. 
you know, when I was that age, it's like, I don't care. I will sit out 95 degree weather. It doesn't bother me at all. And Joel, it would have no, no. bothered me at an age. Joel did Joel did an awesome job with the megaphone, like wrangling the, the – they were zombies. Once, they zombies. Once somebody gives you a megaphone, really hard to give it up. Power. Yeah. Yes. Really My voice is greater than your voice. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm never giving I it up. I had the same problem it? for a while on Sunday. I was trying to organize people into buses, and I was like, I don't want to give this back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell you, uh, I ran into that because I walked up to Joel and I said I wanted to tell the crowd something. And I said to Joel, I was holding my hand, hey, let me see the megaphone. I'm, I want to tell him something. And Joel's like, tucks it? And he goes, what do you want to tell him? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell them. I'll convey it for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you did a great job. I'm actually surprised that you two noticed anything about the shoot on Sunday because Monty bought his uh, friend by and all of our, uh, <laughs> our, a, our female cast members sorry, were suddenly Bill? very distracted Jason by that. Jason what? I don't know what his last name is. Uh, I mean, you know, Jason, uh, I didn't met yeah, Jason. Said, I think arms. it's just one name, Jason. <laughs> Madonna, Jason. Yeah, so Monty brought his uh, gay friend by. Um, <laughs> it was very nice to meet him. He's He'll gay. never work here. It's like, you, yeah. it's like you don't realize how, un- like, I'm thinking of myself, I don't realize how unattractive I am until oh, that guy walks yeah. in the room. It's yeah. like, I'm, a- I'm invisible. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Here's, it's like, here's the thing here I think. Here are people who are like big Rooster Teeth fans. They're big Rooster Teeth fans. Oh, he's gone. Jolt is yeah. is, here's, here's what I fucking think about that, guys. I don't know how many years of, like, like my friends from Texas State or whatever, having like coming in to do bikini shoots or whatever that you know we have to deal with as women. And the one time we get a hot guy in the room, Monty's like, "Well, maybe we can get him to do some acting." And we're looking for actors. You're no fucking way, right? <laughs> no way. I don't want the competition. It's like hmm, guys aren't used to competition. They don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> women have to deal with that constantly. Well, it's probably because he was a serial killer, and we didn't want to deal with somebody <laughs> with that. <yet. coughs> Concerned criminal record. Like, don't want yeah. the liability. Oh, yeah. you guys. You know. Plus, he's homeless, so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No what showers. Did you I, notice listen, the smell? And I, can, smell, I, I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't disagree with that anymore. You guys are way worse than we have ever. We've never done anything like that. I mean, we did do bi- that bikini shoot that one time. No, come on, whatever. Every time there's some cute girl, we have to hear about it. That's true. It, every time. True. Yet there's no example. Oh, look, here's another example. Recently, so you did many. some voice acting auditions for actresses who apparently all had to be supermodels oh. to be a voice actor. They were actresses. We didn't, we didn't <laughs> wait, know what wait, they were looking until they showed up. I bet they had their you headshots first, you had right? The shed, you had headshots. Come on, guys. I saw a stack of headshots. You're like, this, I'm, I hope her voice is good because this girl is yeah. awesome. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, um, you're painting me to a corner here. What's my defense <laughs> going to be? What am I going to say? Oh, yeah, but we only hired the ugly but, ones. But, What's but, my defense going to be? But, but, I mean, they, in all fairness, I mean, we were testing if they could. it was one kick no, or two no. to the face. I'm just giving you shit because you're giving us shit. I'm fine with that. I understand how the world works. I just wish you guys... And like that you, I'm just, it's just interesting to see how men react to it when you, it's kind of the tables you, are turned a little You're bit. married. So it's over for you. It's you're not. Oh you're my not allowed, God. You're, it, you're, if you're married, you're happy. Have you, you two met a guy? <laughs> have you wow. two met? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Like the single people, really, it's the single people. So once you're married, you're dead to the world. You can't look. No, no. Oh my God. That's it. It's yeah. over. Is that true? Right. That's you're, over. You're on a pedestal. <laughs> You're off the market. That's right. If I were married, I know that would be for me. Actually, you know, you I think that like I think having crushes as a married person is way more fun because I I can maintain them for years without finding out that somebody like finding out someone's a shithead. Oh you yeah, know? absolutely. It's so great. Like I can have a million crushes. I don't have to do anything about them, and I don't have to find out that people suck. It's great. <laughs> Which like the that. inevitable That's answer good. is it's always like, it's like they do. all the upside and all the letdown of like, oh, this, is, this person is a human. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know because you find a person that you can live with and that you can be married to. Which is great, but then you can still, you know, like look around and not have to actually, right. you know, mess your life up every three months That's or right. so. <laughs> every three months or so. It's a, it's a very good way to put it. So, Joel, you're the only person in this room who hasn't been married. Before. I have not been married. I don't. Yeah. So Joel, is, Joel this, is still alive to the world. Speaking of things that are over, that. is that it? Are you never getting married? Uh, probably. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say, right? What's uh, What's prob- been the big holdup? You just haven't met the right person. Uh, I don't even know if you're dating anybody now, and she's sitting here probably. crying, listening uh, to this uh, podcast. I, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. Well, let's just let's just let's it's take your current relationship. You know out I, of the I found equation. this one girl. I found this one girl who was um, smoking hot. That's the first thing, smoking hot, and she <laughs> was great in every way. But I, it was it was it was bad timing for me because she happened to catch me during a period where I was like um, in a super work hole. And uh, when you're in the super work hole, there's not a lot of time for anything else. So it was an awkward time. And then I actually brought her over. Uh, I shouldn't even tell the story. I brought her over to the office, and uh, somebody was sitting in the kitchen with somebody else. And uh, I won't mention any names, Burns. But I, but <laughs> you were like, oh. 
I can't. I can't say it because you were like you call out her name in a in a not good manner. I was like, oh god, that's going to cause problems. I it called out her name in a not good wow. manner. Not good manner. Interesting. Like what did I say? Like Sheila or what did I do it? <laughs> Something. Like that. What is a not good way to call out her name? Not, not to blame anyone or anything. I, I don't understand what happened. So wait a minute. Okay, wait, I, I met the perfect sorry. girl and I said her name weird, and so and now that's it, it, it made it made it awkward. Okay, it made it awkward. So explain this to me. I don't understand. Explain this to me because I'm like the world's greatest wingman. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. So wh- she came over here. I don't even why, know who you're talking about. How would I know her name? How story? would I know her name? We have to know now. No. Hey, that's a cool computer you have. Is that new? Here's the thing, Joel, and you you are an adult. And you've had a long time. Like, we've all, you know, been married. I'm you, very, can't, you can't blame Bernie in the last, like, six years or month or year or whatever. No, no, no. That, I blame only, only for that one instance. Only okay, for that one okay. person. No, no. Other, that's than, that, other than that, he's scot so, free. So why don't you all, re- the, all the rest of the time, it's Why don't you reconnect with her? Why don't you reconnect with her no, now? No, it's, 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 no, done. it's I still don't understand what I did. I said her name. Fault. Fault. It's your fault. She came in. <laughs> She came in. <laughs> she fault. obviously had gotten. No, no, no. You were one of your moods. It was it, it was all messed up. You she obviously reached a point in her life where she had settled down to Joel. And <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> so that's established. This is the baseline. Then she comes over to her office. She realizes he doesn't have a real uh, job. So it's like, then we're they're okay with that as well. But then she, <laughs> she comes in and I said her name? Did I say the wrong Don't name? Talk oh. about it. Did I say the wrong name? Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, that would be good. But that would be, that you, would be may, bad. you bring a good point. The the point is the rest Somebody of the time. Somebody should bring was, a good point. The rest of the time, <laughs> the rest of the time it was probably my fault. The rest uh, of the time it was probably the, my the, fault. You mean like your high entire but other than that, your that, entire that lifetime was, of relationships I'm, I'm isn't very, already uh, fault. I'm very <laughs> I'm very high maintenance. Gus, you've got to explain. I'm very I have high no idea. I like I, 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 tell, I'm totally I can be befuddled. I don't understand. I, I can tell that one of the issues you might have is communication, Joel. <laughs> That's yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> could could be. Could be communication. Could be part of it. Was it the I'm, fact that I'm I, a pain in the ass? So, so yeah, let me let me, see, let me see if I can guess what this was. I'm, was it uh, the fact that I knew her name before you introduced me to her? If I get if I get any more detail, it's going to make it worse for you and me. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's going to make it worse. Like, it's like going to make she, it worse for both of us. <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, you've already you've already gone you've already crossed the sexist line on this podcast. <laughs> Let's not make it worse. What kicking female zombies? <laughs> That's not sexist. Uh, sexist, sexist. I'm rallying <laughs> no, no, against that. <laughs> You're already sexist. It's too oh. late. You said he didn't like that. And they're zombies. You said they're not people. You can't be sexist. I was trying to defend him. I was saying I didn't like that about the game. You oh my liked God. it. You had to do just, it. Just think if I did. It didn't stop you from trying to get the achievement. Think it's, of an, what, it's, a, it's a video game. It's a sexist achievement. <laughs> I think it would have happened though if I'd have said the zombies' names wrong <laughs> in a weird way. That would have been unbelievable. Hey, zombie, can I come back to my place? I can't imagine what this story is. So, Joel, the reason you're not married is because I said a person's name because of Bernie. That's why, dude. You're outsourcing. You're out. Um, I don't know how. Uh, anyways, why are we talking about this? <laughs> because you started it. Hey, you you're said, tell hey, us. hey RTX. You... RTX was this weekend. It's <laughs> <laughs> an amazing <laughs> event. You were talking. You were. Joel, making... goddammit, when you say RTX, don't say it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we have to cancel the whole event. <laughs> it's, Ert- oh. it's Ertux. Everyone one, knows that. Oh. One syllable, not three. Ertux. Right. Oh, God, I can, You please have to explain this to me off the air. I have to know what I said. Was it a tonal thing? I can't. I Did just, I emphasize the wrong syllable? It was horrible. It was horrible. It was, horrible. It was horrible. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was like that Seinfeld episode of her name rhymed with a part of the female yes, body. Yes, right. Right. Say it wrong. Did I say the wrong name? We shouldn't talk right. about it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm okay. saving you right. more than I'm saving let's, me. Let's, okay. let's wrap up this very awkward podcast with a, a very awkward ending then. <laughs> now, now, see, now this is only going to make things worse for me. Stop. No, we- <laughs> give, give Gus the ability to edit. Gus, don't, right. please don't edit this out. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about RTX for next year. We've already had our planning session for next year's RTX. Yes. We mm-hmm. had about 500 attendees at this year's event. Correct. And you can see, like we said before, gallery is up at com slash RTX. And if you have photos from the event, please upload them as well so that everyone else can see them. Uh, but next year, we're hoping to take the event to about four to 5,000. Yeah, I think that's a good, good number to grow to. Yeah, that's a... That's like, Doable. what, I was going to say, that's 10% growth, but I don't that's think that's right. That's a lot of right. coins to kick. 
Yes, it is. It's ten, ten I times bigger. Out. It's ten times bigger, which is about ten percent. And uh, and so we're going to do that next year. And we're even thinking about moving the uh, date of the event to get away from Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, we'll Smart. we'll investigate some dates and see what we can come up with. I'm hesitant to say anything concrete yet. Well, you know, if people have any thoughts, maybe they can come talk to us. Yeah, if they want to email us and let us know, you know. What month works best for them? Or they could join the Rooster Teeth community Why don't we just site? ask everybody, what's the best day next year? See when we get back. <laughs> yeah, but, but Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, can, they can join the site and join the official RTX group, and let's have a discussion. But yeah. yeah. Also, we, I think we decided um, less fire ants next year, right? Is that like unanimous decision? Less heat stroke, <laughs> less corn syrup. Things we really liked about the event, we loved the Friday night event, and the mixer at the in the ballroom. That, that was, was awesome. Great. The screenings where we showed 20 minutes of RVB and then a, a, thir- a 20 to 30 minute reel of shorts and live action productions, including a new Junk Tank anime adventure with Joel, which was fucking hilarious. How much trouble yeah. did I get myself into on that one? I, I don't know. Yeah. Depends. I, I was fine. Were I didn't you, say anybody's did you name. Say it was no, I was fine. <laughs> uh, we did that, and then we did the production. We want to keep the production. So, and then the office tours, but we're not going to be able to do the office tours. No, we can't scale that. That's crazy. Thousand, no. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. I'm glad that people got a chance to come by and see, you know, the place that they've seen in all the shorts and the mm-hmm. video podcast. So, it was a lot of fun. I'm really grateful to everybody who came out. I know everybody is to uh, all the. Uh, Community members who came out to the first annual event, we had a blast, and we've got it's nothing a, but positive. And it's great yeah. to it's meet great. everyone. Great to meet everyone. Any, it was. any regrets about it all? It's just that we didn't do it sooner. I think yeah. that's it. We yeah. should we should have done it a couple of years ago and started this thing off, but we'll be playing catch up pretty quickly here. I, I, I'm, we're, I'm going to unveil it right now. Our our slogan for year two, RTX two. Now with air conditioner. <laughs> That's a good slogan. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, why don't you say RTX2 now with annual? <laughs> yeah, right. Thank now you. annual. <laughs> you know, it's my biggest pet peeve when people say the first annual. Oh, there you go. Awesome. You guys are full of shit. Get out of here. <laughs> biggest pet peeve. Nobody agrees with Gus Kathleen. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> how, how would you be the one to be on the same page with him? That's disturbing. <laughs> I've had it happen before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Hey, hey, hey here, here, give Jeff. us your opinion. How do you feel about the phrase first annual? Jeff Ramsey, everybody. The phrase first annual is, uh, it's a misnomer. It doesn't exist. Oh, thank you. Yes. No, no, I'm serious. I was a journalist, a professional journalist for five years. It's covered very clearly in the AP style guide. There cannot, there physically cannot be a first annual anything. You can have a first some first event and, and you can second. have a second annual. But if How do you, you fuckers feel being wrong? If you what about intend, metaphorically? But if you intend to do it annually and you commit to it, why, why is that impossible? Um, it's the rules. I can, it's a double double. I can intend to be First an astronaut, but I don't get to call myself one until I go to space, right? <laughs> is hey, that how that works? Yeah. Jeff, what does the uh, AP style guide say about throwing female reporters under raining phosphorus to save yourself <laughs> <laughs> when you come yeah. under friendly fire? The AP style guide uh, clearly says that journalism is an every man or woman for yourself field. <laughs> I, have, I feel no compunction or remorse for that. When Jeff was in the army, he came under friendly fire. Uh, they were doing a training exercise, and they shot phosphorus over their head. Like and burning white oh phosphorus. Oh, my gosh. Burning white yeah. phosphorus that would have killed him, so he grabbed the female port- reporter that was with him, threw her out of the way so he could dive into the tank. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. gosh. It, to be fair, it wasn't a tank. It was a Bradley. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I did not like her. And to, <laughs> and to be even more fair, she had a wonderful funeral service. Oh <laughs> so yeah, was, right, right. It was covered she very was, well by all those journalists. She was fine, <laughs> and, but let's, she, also, she, let's also be she clear: only lost one leg. Yeah, yeah. We've oh. got a very, we've got a, we've got a tremendous hospital in the <laughs> army called Walter Reed Medical Center. They can do fantastic things with skin grafting. It oh was not God. a big deal. Oh <laughs> she, she turned off fine. Yeah, that girl. Her husband went to jail for threatening the president. I ever told you that story? Oh yeah. My God. Still, let me guess: Did he say the first lady's name wrong <laughs> or <laughs> a lot, in a weird way? No, no, he was just drunk watching the news one night, and he, uh, he called up the White House and said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the president. It was Bill Clinton. And uh, he got a, they hung up on him. He got a call back from Secret Service and said, sir, you do not want to do that. Do not do that again. So he said, ha, 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 fuck you. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And then he called them again. This is in Colorado. So be the and within an call. hour, there were, there. there were dudes. Like, they were sitting there. He was just drunk with his buddies. Within an hour, somebody literally busted through, like kicked wow. the front door open and took him away. I think he did five years in jail. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's intense. That's why she joined the Army, because she then uh, had to make a living and she couldn't uh, find work. So she had to join the Army to support herself. Wow. I've always heard that rule. I've never heard it being applied in That's any amazing. way. Yeah. No, no. It happened to her firsthand. And to get back at him, she banged Every dude in oh the army. Oh my god! Wow, yeah. it worked out pretty well for her, I think. Bur- burns and all. <laughs> burns and all. Even dealing with Jeff. 
Did you, did you ever sleep with her, or did you just try to kill her? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't Before like or after? Didn't, didn't go so well That's after the whole the, uh, white phosphorus yeah, exactly. incident. <laughs> big, big hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got back at her. Listen, I was in I was in what we call an army of one. I don't know if you know. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's it. I'm leaving. Okay, all right, we're all we're we'll all out of here. Shut up. All right. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks. Kathleen, hey. thank you for Great joining time. us. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.